Hey, you dirty PS5 controller, let's clean you out. I'm gonna grab my favorite spudger and start spudging. Starting from the bottom handles there, I'm gonna spudge it open, and then right here, there's two tabs on each side. We're gonna press them and release. Now we should be able to fold it right up. The two L and R buttons just pop right up, and you use a size one or size zero Phillips screwdriver, and you can release the screws. Right here on the bottom handles, we're gonna kinda separate them a little bit as we untabulate the tabs. And that should release the whole bottom there, and then you just pry it open like a clamshell. Here's the cameras and the ribbon cables. Always be careful, they are tricky and they like to break. Battery removal time with a little screw job and a saddle release, we get to the ribbon cables. Be very careful with these as well as all ribbon cables. These little plastic tabs hold the motherboard in place, so kind of separate them out with your thumbs and press in on the sticks and you can release that motherboard easy peasy. Hey, these sticks don't look too bad, but there's a little bit of hair in there. Let's get rid of that. Oh, and that hair too. 30 to 60 PSI should be just fine for all of this mess. And now, as you can see, there's no more hair in the controller, which everybody loves. And just a little bit of hand cheese action for you. The remaining hand cheese can be stubborn, so make sure you bring all your tools, all your hand cheese removal tools you will need. Once you are satisfied that the hand cheese has been thoroughly removed, you may begin assembly. Assembly is just like taking it apart, only in reverse. Just be very, very careful of all of these ribbon cables. This strategy I use seems to work really good. Now we're going to attach the saddle and plug in the back camera and screw it in while plugging in the battery all at the same time. Here goes the back shell. So I realized two screws were gone and here they are stuck to the magnet of the vibration machine inside. Yes, yeah, so every PS5 controller contains two separate vibration machines. Yes, finish wiping off buttons and apply those as well. Now we can put on that first thing we removed. Yes, the first thing, that's what it's called. Look it up. Now we're gonna test the buttons and the buttons seem good. All of them are nice. The stick is not drifty and there's no hair inside. We love it.